Hello, Earthling Sonoxy here, and today we are going to make this awesome black hole in GIMP. Now, before we get started, we're going to need a few things. Firstly, we're going to need a picture of the Milky Way, preferably this one. If you just search for a black hole on Google, you'll probably get this one, and this is the one I recommend. Secondly, you're going to need a picture of stars. Now, I'm using the stars that I've got off from... A Final Cut Pro, you can search for stars. The brighter they are, the better they are. But you make sure they're good quality. Now, the third and the final thing you're going to need are some spiral brushes. The link to the to download them is in the description down below. Don't forget to get these because they are important. Now, I'm going to start by making a new project. Uh, the dimensions are 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p. And I'm going to take out the comment because I do not need it. Make sure the color space is RGB color and fill it with background color. Now what you want to do is import your stars file. Now once you've got that done, you want to make sure that your brush size is at five, is at 1000. And then you want to select the fourth brush from the st spiral brushes set and click on your star background. But before you do this, you want to make sure you have a certain color. And this one is FFFEEB. Now click OK. That should give you a little whitish, yellowish color. And then you want to make your background color black. Now, now you want to click on your star background. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your foreground color is black. Then make sure that your brush size is 500. And click at the center of your black hole until it gets really, really dark and black. Now all that's left to do is to make the outside of the black hole, the light getting sucked in, uh, brighter. Because at this point it looks like, well, it looks like a grayscale image. Now this is where the Milky Way picture comes to save the day. Drag it on. Now after this you want to use your scale tool to scale it up really big. You want to make sure that the Milky Way is a little bigger than the black hole itself. Now you want to change the blend mode from normal to dodge. Use your move tool to, ma uh, to move your Milky Way to the center of the picture. Now, as you can see, the Milky Way picture is absolutely helping the brightness and the light. So what you want to do now is basically replicate or duplicate this picture and just keep putting it in different angles until you get something that you like. So keep copy the picture and then click on dodge again and then just reposition it. Now, keep doing this until uh, like do this for four or five times until you get all sides of the black hole. Now you might notice that the picture is getting very bright, a little too bright, and there are a lot of things that are unnecessary on the sides. So to get rid of all of that, we're going to use our eraser tool and make the size of the eraser tool uh, around 200. And then you just want to erase the sides and, the, and the, like, the parts of the black hole that you think are too bright. So select one layer and then just erase some of the parts so that it doesn't look so bright and doesn't really annoy you. And that's basically all you have to do to get this black hole to look awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you want more, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching again. Bye.